Good everyone, oh good news video today. It's a bit of an incident that I occurred during a well the first drive of my Chinese ISU one five two. And um yeah, we've got another scumbag alert unfortunately. Now, this player really blew things out of proportion. This player had no reason to do really what he did. And this incident could have been easily avoided, from what I can see anyway. So the Chinese ISU, as well as the Russian ISU 152s, have recently been dropped in BR, and I thought, well, I went through the trouble of spading the SU 152s, at, well, the SU 152 at 5.0, maybe the ISU might be worth my time. Now, I don't get the most stellar of results in this game. I only get one kill on a Firefly and a assist on a D4Y. But the player in question is a guy named Kuznek. And I really don't understand what his problem was, because this incident could have easily been avoided, from what I've been able to see. So, obviously, the ISU is... Well, these ISU tank destroyers are very well known for being a bit shit, and this thing drives like... Well... To put it simply, this vehicle drives horribly. It has a very, shall we say, crap gearbox until you get it spaded. Obviously, this vehicle is based on the IS chassis, so it is a bit clunky when it's stock. But you've got to remember, this vehicle is a tank destroyer, and the fact that it's only got limited coverage really affects it as well. Additionally, most of the weight is in the front of the vehicle, and obviously since the engine is in the back, it's going to be a lot harder for the tank to be propelled. And obviously you can see the drive sprockets there at the back, that's also where the tank is propelled from. So this means that stock, this vehicle is going to be very slow. Take this into account for this incident. But otherwise, I didn't, get to, I didn't get the best first impressions on this vehicle, but at the same time, I can use it to get my daily done, so I don't really care, but... It's the fact that this incident occurred that could have easily been avoided is what gets me. And I just don't understand because this was an avoidable incident. This incident didn't need to occur as far as I can tell. And I just don't understand what this guy's problem was. Now, yes, he is a Russian player and naturally they must be always angry. He might as well rename himself to Professor bloody banner like seriously oh dear but I just don't understand because this incident was not needed I personally think most Russian players go out of their way to create conflict because that seems to be the case okay so look at my top of well, my current speed on this vehicle it's not very quick, as you can tell. And I thought, I'll, I'll have a look around, see if there's any teammates, and I'm just going to slow it down. So, obviously, a teammate's already driven in front of me, this is the T-34. And the Sherman, Kuznek, is coming in behind me. Look at my speed. I cannot go any faster than this. Now, he does start to turn. And clearly, this guy knew that I was quite slow, so he must have thought, I'll go around him, but not this guy. He then decides to put a shell into me, to which I slam on the brakes. Because if you're going to be a bellend, I'm going to slam on the brakes. And obviously, his Sherman is not moving this 46-ton monster. He shoots me again, trying to prove like he's some sort of child or something, I don't know. But, the fact is that this did not need to occur, and then he says something in Russian. If anyone can translate that, that'd be nice. Um, I then put in chat, learn to drive then, nobed. He continues in Russian, but as far as I can tell, this incident was caused by him. Yes, I shouldn't have probably brake checked him, but He's the one continuing the incident. And in a moment, I'd like you to all watch the minimap, because, well, you're going to see. I just don't understand. 
And obviously, I'm not I'm not turning the tank just to fire my gun at him just to basically say to him fuck off. I thought no, just gonna use the 50 cal. So I thought I'll start driving up here, see if I can get this thing up there. Which, yeah, this thing isn't. It can get up there. It just takes so long; it's not even worth it. And even then, the gun depression on this thing's like three degrees. So, and there we go. You see this arrow? Kuznek is now resorting to dropping artillery on me. Great. That that really helps the situation, doesn't it? Just proves you're more of a knobhead. And again, I point it out in chat in just a moment. I'm just going to jump ahead because, well, this this battle is not the most stellar in terms of me and everything. And it just seems like he wanted to cause the incident, and I just don't understand why. So after a couple of minutes of me sitting up there, I decided to come down and see if I could find anything to shoot at. And I don't actually find anything until like the 10 minute mark, roughly, 9 minute mark. And I just don't understand. He, he rushed in, he got, I think, one kill, which was enough for him to get his F6F. And, yeah, it's just... I don't understand, obviously. The reason why I'm parked next to this to lap Torn is I don't know if this guy's gonna try and team kill me. Cause Russian players tend to do that. So I thought if I part next to another friendly, he'll get immediately kicked. He'll get double team kill and he'll get double reported, probably by pretty much everyone. So that that's the best way to do it. And I figured he probably doesn't want to risk his account for that. But there's always you always have to take that precaution with Russian players. So, obviously, I'm moving into position to try and get a shot, and I'm, I'm obviously trying to get a shot on this Chaffee, but he then stops right where my gun sight can't actually see him. The Delat Torn starts taking shots at him, but... Again, Kuznek dies, he got, I think, one kill again? Two of Probably? I, I, I'm not really paying much attention to him, because, well, good reason. I actually wasn't far off with that shot. You gotta remember, I do not fire 152 guns that are this level of barrel length, I should really say. But the Delat Torn had him anyway, so that's no big deal. So I'm here with this Delat Torn, obviously, I only have 3 degrees of gun depression. And obviously, there's an M18 there, and obviously, the Delat decides to back up into me when I'm trying to get a shot. The Delat takes a hit, and I'm thinking, what do I do? Because this clearly needs to be addressed and obviously the IL-2 bombs that M18 so I don't have to, excuse me, I don't have to worry about him. There's also an AU-1 on the enemy team which was rather surprising because well, I mean yeah it was quite easy to get that thing, you just have to build three rockets which it's a bit of a grind but I never bothered with it. I'm only going for the 234-1. I mean I could, probably could build another two rockets if I chose to but nah. I didn't see the point. So I noticed at this point, the teammate behind me has just jade out. It's a Saab 20. I don't know why you would bring a Saab into a, what, 5-7 game? I don't know. But, um, I've just noticed he's jaying out. And you can see, this thing is struggling. you got to remember, the engine's 460 horsepower. And, additionally, it weighs 46 tons. It's got a 10 horsepower per ton ratio. It isn't great in terms of its horsepower per ton. And you've got to remember as well, this thing does not feature neutral steering, and I do not have any modifications on the vehicle at all. This thing's slow, and it will always be slow until I get mods done on it. I only got half a part done because of this battle, by the way, in case anyone was curious about that. And here he goes in chat again. Something 155 because you can't even get the accurate gun name right. I think that, well, that doesn't mean ISU, I don't think, but if anyone can translate this Russian stuff, please do because I, I don't have a clue. So at this point, I decided to push out and see if I could find myself up he anything up here because I did hear something firing over here. 
And it's about this moment, a Sherman Firefly comes around the corner, probably thinking, holy fuck, what is that? And then just gets his head blown to the next dimension. Pretty reasonable. And now, as you can see, Kuznek, whilst it's not being shown on the map, he's actually pinging my position. Yeah, that's really helping, isn't it? I, I don't understand his problem, because this incident could have been avoided. But he keeps pinging my location, spamming the map. And I just don't understand. So at this point, I just park up and I'm thinking, well, if this guy's going to be a knobhead, I'm going to let him die again, because I'm, I'm not provided well, I'm not providing him covering fire with my 152. And even then, I've got a 23 second reload. If I miss my shot, you're bugging for 23 seconds so I can actually re-range the shot. And then, fire again. And with the armor this thing has, it's not going to protect it from much, is all I'll say. I mean, it's 90 mm thick, but... That ain't stopping a lot of this BR. But I'm sort of glad we're going in the right direction with these ISUs, because, well, the 152s at least, the 122s still need a drop. If anything, I think the SU-152 could probably go to, like... I cut the engine at this point, just to point out. Um, but then I decided, no, I'll, I'll reverse, because it's just easier. Um, and the thing is that these derp guns are just not as good compared to... Like, they're not, the tank destroyers are not as good as the people make them out to be. Having a derp gun is nice, but they're not as competitive, and they're not really able to support their team as much. And Kuznek has been taken out, and well, the AAs we do have are complete utter crap, so... Obviously, he's now left the game. I do get the assist on this guy, because yes, I'm using the 50 cal on him, because why the hell not? But that's pretty much the end of the incident. And I'm just going to show the guy, just to see what... Well, just to show what I mean. And you can see... 527 games in the M4A4 SA50, and he's barely scraping a 2 to 1. Barely scraping. And if you look as well, he's rushed up the lines, not spading shit, and he's just being a troll, quite clearly. And if you look at planes, he loves his Hellcat, 778 games, but I mean, the Grand Target is pretty understandable considering he uses it in Grand Forces, but. Even so, it's quite clear to me, and there's some kind of sound issue. I do apologize about that. Um, but yeah, this guy could have easily been, well, this incident could have easily been avoided. This is another one that I think could have been avoided if he just had common sense to go around me or turn right before he even like came into my tank's path. I was doing six miles an hour, if that. This tank is slow, and I can't help that. So, yeah. But anyway, I'm gonna let you guys off. I hope you enjoyed seeing this scumbag exposed. I just don't understand Russian players sometimes. And I'll see you all on the next one.